13signsastrology.com. You are on a voyage. You are a cosmonaut. You are on a, a trip. And if you look at it as a vacation, I said you're on a voyage. If you look at this trip as a vacation, you're going to get sidetracked by a group of reptilian beings that learn how to take figures and make you perceive certain figures from the perspective that they want you to perceive them from. For instance, you have a square. And within that square, if it's three-dimensional, you could fit this within a circle or a 360. Thank you. You could fit this, this square or this object into a 360. Actually, if you can't fit this square object into a 360, it's probably not cut out correctly. However, these shape-shifting beings will have you look at this square as a square or a box or a limitation. You will never realize that you are actually in a cipher. This is what you are. Your life is a cipher. And you are given certain weapons to protect yourself within this cipher. The first weapon that you were given to protect yourself in this cipher of the physical flesh, or what's called the duai, is your body and everything that came with it. Essentially, your head, your crown chakra, was your first weapon that you were given. However, if you begin to look at your head as a limitation, and look at your head as just a head and not realize that your head, from the moment that you incarnated here, is connected to what's called a God body. It's actually nothing more than a mere duplicate of a headquarters, a physical headquarters that exists in this universe. And the problem is, is that we don't, since we don't understand that we are on a trip and that our soul is actually living in a inside of a spaceship or a vehicle, it becomes unidentified or extraterrestrial or alien to us because we don't understand what it is. You see, in reality, this is a craft. And the name that you were given came with what? A social security number or a set of numbers. So you were given a certain letters and certain numbers. And you and the letters that you were given are tied into your name. And your name, no matter how you square it up, is tied into what? A language. So it's very important we're gonna get into a language. Because your name and your language is what links you to your past life karma. The language that your name is in. See, many of you don't realize it, but you don't have quote unquote English names or American names. Yeah, they may be uh, popular in America, but your name is actually from another language or tied into another land or another story. See, a language represents a story, a star story a lot of times. And the language that you speak or the language that you was born speaking links you karmically now, I'm talking about a past life level, into another story. So before you get to research anything, because I have about a hundred people lined up want to get readings, and I'm going to do them, every last one of them. However, I want you guys to think over this because right now I'm actually um, in Arizona, so I'm doing a lot of traveling. I really won't have a lot of time to really get to people. Probably you could, you may have to wait for a couple of months each person. Like once you text me to get a reading, it may take a couple of months. And I'm not trying to be funny, but I want to give you a real reading. But on top of that. I want to be able to, you know, get to my location safely, places that I need to get to. And um, I'm getting attacked by ET beings daily, zapping me from phone energy and all kind of shit. So right now is not a good time. So I want you to just think over this while you wait. So you was given a set of a set of weapons, your name and your social security number, and your name ties into a language which ties you into a land. No matter how you look at it, a land mass or a land body. 
it's up to you to research that landmass and that land body that your name ties you into. And so at some point you need to go to that landmass or that land body because that is your zero point. That's what that's called your zero time reference. And once you do that, you're gonna find out that you're linked to other people. So when you're not performing correctly, meaning that towards fulfilling your life purpose, you're not only holding back yourself, this is what I'm trying to get people to see, you're holding back a group. So you have what's called group karma. You have what's called fixed stars. So you have stars that are movable, some stars are fixed, and that's what I'm going to get into in the future soon too, is I'm going to get into fixed stars. And when you go back to your zero point reference, you are finding out about your fixed stars. You can also do this on a celestial level with your zodiac sign, but I'm speaking on how to do it through your name. So once you tie into your fixed stars or your the physical karma that you are tied into, now your job is to, do you like it or not? And only you gotta be real with yourself. Do you like your zero point? Say for instance, your name is Irish. Do you like Ireland? Now you've been there, you've visited. You've done rituals, you know, you've made communion with Ireland. Do you like it? Do you like the culture of it? Does this define you? See, if that, when people saying they got problems with their life purpose and all of this and that, that's where you start. Does this define you? Does Ireland define you? The Switzerland, you have a Swiss Swiss name. The Switzerland define you. You say you have an American name. Is it really American? See, that's what I would tell an American. Not necessarily somebody that's Irish, but American. Is your name even, do you even have an American? Do you know what that is? Because if you have an American name, it's probably going to tie you more into Arabic. If you truly have one. So these are the things you must know. And then your social security number, see, this ties you into the cosmic play. This is what they use on a day-to-day -day level to visa you out. Because their goal is to visa you out. You know that, right? These group of beings, they want you dead. They incarnate you here to, to get your resources. Once they feel like they've extorted, extorted enough from you and ex exactivated enough resources from your body, they want you dead. It's their program to do that. But it's programmed for you to survive, believe it or not, but you have to learn how to visa through numbers. And that's stuff that I teach too in my programs and classes. And you visa through numbers by first understanding your social security number and how to read it in a chronological order and finding out which bodies of land your social security number ties you into. So having a social security number is not enough. Social security number ties you into bodies of land, land masses, water, things of that nature. You need to make communion with all of this. Do you like this shit that you tied in with? See, that's the homework that people don't want to do, you know. Like, anybody can sit here and be lazy, but this is our mission. I've done about 25% of the work so far just from doing this last voyage. And what happens is that it recycles every 25 days. You got to go back and update and re up. You have to know how to do readings. And this is worth billions of dollars. And they know it, the doctors know it. So they got all of you hooked up to a computer, a supercomputer tied in with mercury and they read you every day and visa you and get money off of you pimp you basically high tech though you'll never be able to stop them you can get mad but that's not a remedy for this that's not a defense that's not a shield see we're also giving a shield when you incarnated here believe it or not your shield is what you create with your hands not with your mouth and lip service it's okay to use this in relationship to your hands you use your mouth in relationship to other body parts. Not alone, so. Just a little food for thought on my voyage. As always, keep studying. Never quit, never give up. Namaste.